Hi, I'm Tales of Mr. E and welcome to the guide to auto farming in Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. This method will allow you to farm while you're away from the console. So just a word of warning that you do run the risk of overheating your console if you leave it on for a lengthy period of time. So without further ado, here we go. There are a number of reasons why you would want to auto farm, but the main reason is that uh, you can leave it on overnight and come back to a screen like this. This method works on all consoles, but before you start, make sure to turn off any power saving settings so it won't power off when you don't want it to. What you can get out of using this method is grade, experience, guild, kills, and acquiring altered arts if you just use a slight variation of this method. So you need to be far enough to start fighting gigantic monsters, as you'll be farming Brutal, which is just outside Daden Hold. You'll need the following for at least four party members, who will be the characters you use to do the farming. For equipment, you'll need the minimum damage weapon, a paralysis charm or an amulet, the highest defense uh, other equipment, and for every other character, just have weapons which need skills unlocked. Now onto the skills that you need. So, the most important skills you need in order for this farming method to even work is the fail strike bonus 1 and 2 and the over limit bonus 1 and 2. These four skills are what allows your characters to heal both HP and TP while they are auto battling. In terms of optional skills, uh, I recommend having over limit concentrate, over limit boost, happiness skills and anything that relates to defense. For every other character not in the main party, just make sure that they have experience share in order to take advantage of all the experience that you're going to get. Now I must stress this, do not equip the following skills. Minimum half and quarter damage, these should only be equipped via the weapon, any defense lowering skills, and the reflect skills, as this will do more than one damage and you don't want to defeat the brutal while you're away. For arts make sure to only turn on the ones for the green uh, Fatal Strike. Although for Rita, I recommend just having Tidal Wave. If you can, try and leave one healer in the party. In this case, I'm using Flynn and I've turned on Guardian Field. As an alternative setup, if you want to farm Altered Arts, make sure to turn on the Art Changing Skills, as well as turn on the Arts that change into Altered Arts. I highly recommend checking as well double on score lance guide on game FAQs as it clearly states all the altered arts for every character. For strategy, other than position, make sure you got exactly this. In terms of everything else, I recommend setting the difficulty as hard as you can as you'll get a grade bonus for the higher difficulty. To make this farming method even better, uh, I recommend using the level up DLC if you haven't already as it will lessen the chance of you dying as all the characters will have higher stats. I recommend also topping up your items just in case. When you are ready, start the fight against Brutal. If he isn't there, make sure it is during the day and go into Daden Hold and back out and he will eventually appear. Once you start the battle, make sure you set the correct strategy and set your point character to auto. I recommend watching the fight for a few minutes just to make sure that you have set the right difficulty for your party as you don't want them to die when you leave the console. And now here's where the fun happens. Your party should be going crazy using over limits at every opportunity and using fatal strikes. There's a good chance that they will heal when they do so and it should be self-sufficient. If you're seeing that your party isn't dying and isn't relying on items, congratulations. You've successfully set up the auto farm and you can leave the console for as long as you want. So once you've left it for a sufficient amount of time and you want to end the battle, Simply open the menu, switch the weapons. I recommend choosing ones where you want to uh, unlock some skills.
change the accessories uh, specifically as many dice as you can. Um, if you uh, if you don't have any more dice, uh, you can also equip Sephiras in order to get more gold. And then uh, feel free to just either take control of a character or you can leave it on auto. For me, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to use a character. And that's it. You should have got some crazy result like I have here and should hopefully be enough grade to start your next playthrough if that's what you are after. As soon as you exit this result screen, I highly recommend saving immediately and turn off your console to let it rest from being on for a prolonged period of time. If you found this guide useful, please leave a thumbs up and share it with anyone that might benefit from this. If you're interested in more Tales content, I stream Tales games every Tuesday on my Twitch channel, plus I also post updates on my crazy Tales of Collection where I'm aiming to get every single Tales figure on my Twitter. Otherwise until then, see you next time.